All right, what do we have here? Yeah, I don't know if we're putting solar panels on there, but we're making the sales. Hmm. Right. I totally don't feel like working on the boat right now. I just want to keep digging. I feel like I need to do something to ease the town trips. So I'm not, I'm not doing a gas motor. And uh, yeah, the pedaling's hard. The pedaling with the digging every day is what's hard. If it wasn't digging every day, it'd be fine. But yeah, I need, need, need to get some help. Or I'd like to get some help. I guess I don't need it. We need some tape and some nuts and bolts. Yeah. And that, and some pipes and stuff. I think I'm ready to do something. Okay, I thought of something useless for this too. Right. I think I have enough junk to start. Yeah. Oh, where do I start? I guess I start by getting the boat on the land. Well, okay, I already did that. Now what? Let's do what I know I need to do. I know I need to cut that stuff off. Uh, yeah. All right, let's just start with that. Now wait. Let's start by doing some more thinking. Then I want to reinforce this down to here. I brought some stuff for that because there's going to be a mast up here that's going to have a bunch of pressure on it. And I want a pipe coming down here and one down the other side. And that should be, that should reinforce that enough to not move. This one is going to take a little more doing. And I think I have something for this. I'll cut that off and put a piece across here and down to the sides. And I guess there's something either down here or up there. Or I, don't, I don't know. I'll get these pieces in first. And then what else is going on here? I don't know what to do with this part back here yet. Hmm. I don't know. All right. cool about dismantling stuff like this is I always end up with weird parts that are going to be good for something. I don't know what, but something. Okay, I got some stuff cut off. Now what? Oh, that was harder than I remember flipping it over. Anyway, I wanted to check the bottoms while I have it out because this pontoon, I noticed some bubbling. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but here's some. I, what I think happened here is the resin wasn't totally cured because I guess I didn't put enough hardener in. And I was hoping that by leaving it out in the sun for a few days, it would be all right, but I guess not. And I noticed when I was in the water um, and I was just cleaning off the boat, um, it was sticky. Shouldn't be sticky. And, uh, yeah, now it's got all these little blisters. So I guess I need to sand those off and maybe go over the whole thing with some fresh resin. Make sure there's enough hardener in it this time. The other pontoon's amazing. It's nice and smooth up there. Great finish. But yeah, I don't know. I screwed this one up. There's nothing that would sink the boat or anything, but, you know, the little blisters will definitely slow things down. Oh, sanding. Don't screw that 
up again, Jamie. I'm having something of an issue here. This should not be coming off. Now I checked all the way at the other end of the pontoon here and it's doing the same thing. And chances that I didn't put enough resin in or enough hardener in the resin over the entire thing is kind of slim. I guess it's a possibility. Maybe I did. The other possibility is aliens came in. No, the other more likely possibility or equally as likely possibility is that uh, I created this problem five years ago when I originally made the pontoon. And this is the original surface here. Maybe it's just not that strong and even if this is adhering to it, it can just peel off some of this. So I'm not sure what to do here yet. One option is to just take off as much of this stuff as I can, sand the snot out of this thing, take off as much surface material as I can, and then go over it with more resin, like a bunch, build it up a little bit. I could also put a whole other layer of fiberglass on the bottom here. That's going to add weight to one pontoon and not the other, which seems kind of silly. And it's not, it's not that it seems like it's going to sink or anything so yeah maybe I just go with option A scrape this off and just try again and hope that I just screwed up the resin here and the stuff under it is okay uh, of course I could just throw it back in the water and forget about the whole thing alright let's take care of it okay more information it's not coming off up here and this is still the same resin as this stuff like I can get that off without much difficulty but then it gets to about there yeah and then it doesn't come off anymore so what's the difference between there and here all right Jamie figure that out you know I do have a possible answer it's possible that maybe I just screwed up the initial resin I put over the whole pontoon and I only went up to like here and then when I put over more smoothing layers I went all the way up to the top. Now if I screwed like that initial layer of resin I would probably have just put over the whole thing all at once. So if I screwed up that batch that would account for the whole thing being a problem because it's down here and it's way over there too and then if after that I went over with smoothing layers and you know ended up smearing up to here with that you know past the screwed up part that would explain why this sticks hopefully that's what happened because that would mean I can fix it by just getting the gunk off and putting a good layer on, not screwing it up. It's like, it's a pretty rare thing to happen, you know, screwing up the mix, but it is definitely possible to put the resin in there and then put the hardener in and just accidentally not put enough. Or I've even had a few, on a few occasions, I've completely forgotten the hardener. In which case, you know, you just kind of put it out in the sun and wait a week and then hopefully it cures. What if I did that? Hmm, that would be a stupid place to do that. I mean, everywhere would be a stupid place to do that. Anyway. Another possibility is I just didn't sand this well enough before I put the resin on. Maybe I should just go get my angle grinder and <laughs> the entire thing. <sighs> that would... I would take care of a few of those possibilities. Yeah, I should do that. You know, if I angle grind enough off, I could then put a whole other layer of fiberglass on the outside, and it wouldn't add any weight if I angle grind enough off. <laughs> All right, got my angle grinder. Let's get full battery. 
Got some flappy disks. I got three of them just in case. Extra battery. While I was going to get my angle grinder, I was thinking about this situation. And uh, I think just taking off a layer on the top should solve the most likely problems. There's always a possibility that there's something else I just am missing here. But yeah, if I take off all the new resin, if I screwed up five years ago, it would have just been on the surface layer because that's where I added this color. Everything other than that should be the same as I always do it. But it was, it, I think, I think it may have been that powder color I used in the resin. Don't ask me what it was. This was years ago. But I, I don't think that was good stuff. So I'm going to try to take that off. So basically go down to the fiberglass without going through the fiberglass. Yeah. Going pretty well. I've gone through two batteries so far. And I've not gotten all that far. <laughs> oh, this is gonna take me a week. Well, because, let's see. Okay, if I charge the batteries tomorrow morning, then I can come out and do some more of the afternoon. Maybe it'll only take a few days. I'll just charge them every morning, presuming the sun's out. No, oh, it's still gonna be like a week. All right, see you tomorrow, maybe with three batteries.